Well, joining me live is Libyan analyst Abul Qadar Assad. Thank you so much for your time. You're joining us nearby from Istanbul. But tell us, what are the main issues in Libya right now? Is there a fear that the contaminated water could cause far more uh, damage and destruction and, and no doubt far more problems for the authorities than the immediate issues right now? All right. So uh, following, you know, this is day six or seven after uh, the disaster hit uh, eastern Libya. And we're now hearing about reports uh, from the National Center of Disease Control in Libya uh, uh, talking about poisoning cases among children, uh, survivor children. That is 150 cases until now of uh, poisoning from drinking contaminated water. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, this uh, has happened uh, while uh, AIDS and humanitarian assistance keeps uh, coming in uh, to Libya from all across the world and locally as well, which raises the question, why would there not children, survivor children, drink contaminated water if, uh, if there was bottled water coming to them? Uh, clean water coming to them constantly. And this, of course, takes us back to the complications and the obstructions that are created by the lack of coordination that is uh, slowing down the arrival and delivery of much-needed assistance to the area. So is the aid being accepted and the issues are getting it into the areas? Uh, of course, uh, the, the uh, if, if now of course it's all about now the effort teams are are concerned more about finding more survivors because as you just uh, ran in your report uh, yesterday we have a whole family that was actually rescued 160 hours after after the storm uh, a whole family rescued by the by the rescuer uh, rescue teams uh, a day before uh, a man who spent uh, 140 hours under the rubble was 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 recovered alive so there are survivors 6 days uh, into the disaster that are being picked uh, picked up from under the rubble and this gives a, a ray of hope the numbers are still talking about 10000 missing persons but the number of uh, documented, officially documented uh, uh, deaths uh, is uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000. So from 3,000 in, uh, into 5,000 bodies that have been uh, actually documented to be uh, found in the area, especially, of course, the, the most of them are in Danna city. And what are the weather conditions like still in Libya? Uh, yesterday, it was quite heavy rain. Is that still the case today? Uh, today, not. Uh, yesterday, yes. And this, of course, uh, takes us back to the, um, to the uh, state of the uh, displaced people uh, still in Darna. So we're getting reports about uh, the people who are crammed to one side of the city, the side that, was, that wasn't that was hit uh, quite badly by the, the storm. So those people are displaced from the houses that were swept away uh, by the flood and survived. And those people are in need of immediate uh, relocation. We have reports and calls from inside Libya to evacuate everybody that is that has survived this disaster in Darna into nearby areas, so that they can uh, spare their lives uh, and, you know, amid the threats of contaminated water, uh, decomposed bodies that are everywhere still on the people are still on the lookout for bodies, not only survivors, recovered bodies. The shore, uh, the sea is still washing up bodies uh, as of today that bodies are being washed up in the sea as of today still. Is there anything more uh, that the international community, nations such as Australia, can do to assist? Well, of course, uh, people in Libya appreciate all the help that they could get, uh, especially uh, exper experienced help in, in, uh, in search and rescue. 
uh, of course now now phase two phase two of the whole disaster is just to try and accelerate the the, the revival of the city rebuilding the city uh, first you know taking away all these shocking uh, shocking uh, scenes of the demolished uh, neighborhoods in Darna and helping the city uh, rebuild itself again so that the remaining, the surviving people can actually go back and live in it. Abu Qaeda Assad, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. No problem.